Hey guys, welcome to the second lecture of the DIP series. This is Anushree and today we are going to discuss the key stages in DIP. If you haven't watched the previous video yet, then kindly do so. I'll include the link in the description box. Now in the previous video, we had talked about low, mid and high level processes. Okay, similarly, we have different stages in DIP or different fundamental steps. Okay, these fundamental steps include image acquisition, image enhancement, restoration, morphological processing, segmentation, object recognition, and representation and description. Okay, two other processes which are also included are color image processing and image compression. Now, just because I have represented all these steps with the help of these arrows doesn't mean that all of them are performed on the image. Okay two or more, two or three can also be applied on the image. Okay, it is based on the application. Okay, for noise reduction, certain processes are used. For, some, uh, for scene understanding, certain other processes are used. So based on the application, these processes are applied on the image. Okay, I'll explain each of these one by one. Now the first step is image acquisition. What is image acquisition? It mainly means acquiring the image, okay? It can be done with the help of camera, which is also known as a sensor. And if the image is not already digitized, then it can be done with the help of an analog to digital converter, okay? So image acquisition mainly means acquiring the image or getting the image, okay? The next one is image enhancement. Image enhancement mainly means manipulating the image so that the result is more suitable than the original for specific applications, okay? For certain applications, we need an enhanced image, okay? So we need a procedure which brings out the hidden details of an image, and that is when image enhancement is used, okay? It highlights certain features which may be important for our application. Next is image restoration. What is image restoration? The process of improving the appearance of an image. Now how is this different from image enhancement? It's different because here mathematical and probabilistic models of image degradation are used which are different from human subjective preferences. Okay an example of this can be a photograph taken in space. Okay the image quality wouldn't be that great so certain applications certain procedures would be applied on the image to improve the appearance of the image and this is known as image restoration. Next comes morphological processing. It deals with tools for extracting image components that are useful in the representation and description of shape. Okay, an example of this can be fingerprint recognition. Image segmentation. Now image segmentation is one of the most difficult tasks in digital image processing. Okay, there are various algorithms and various ways of doing it. And segmentation mainly means partitioning an image into constituent parts or objects. Okay, so the more accurate the segmentation, the more likely the recognition is to succeed. Okay, and it has a wide variety of applications. Next is object recognition. It is the process to assign a label to the object based on the information provided by its description. Okay, so to recognize an object, it's assigned a label. Representation and description. Okay, so choosing a representation is only part of the solution for transforming raw data into a form suitable for subsequent computer processing. Okay, the different types of representations are boundary representation and regional representation. So it mainly means what part or portion of the image you want to emphasize on or to represent. For example, if you want to emphasize on the corners and inflections of the image, then that is when boundary representation is used. On the other hand, if you want to emphasize on the texture and skeletal shape of the image, then that is when regional representation is used. So either way, it only forms a part of the solution for transforming raw data into a form more suitable for subsequent computer processing. Next is description, also called feature selection, deals with extracting attributes that result in some information of interest. Okay, so it again means uh, extracting certain attributes uh, which are mainly useful for your application. 
Next is image compression. It includes techniques for reducing the storage required to save an image or the bandwidth required to transmit it. So mainly it's used for saving images. The images are compressed and also to share, to share it to someone else, to send it to someone else. That is when image compression techniques are used. Okay. The last one is color image processing. Now this is an area which has been gaining popularity and importance mainly because of the significant increase in the use of digital images over the internet. Okay, it includes the use of color of the image to extract features of interest in the image. Okay, it finds applications in different fields such as computer vision, biomedicine, telecommunications, etc. And it is a still developing field. There is much more research to be done in this field. For our lectures, we'll mainly be working on grayscale images. Okay, so that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.